The Second World Summit on Ethics and Leadership in Sports, hosted at the home of FIFA in Zurich, brought together 56 highly accomplished speakers and more than 150 experts from the field of sports, business, politics, media and civil society from over 30 countries around the world. It's my great, great pleasure to welcome all of you here today on behalf of the World Forum for Ethics in Business. Thank you very much on behalf of uh, FIFA for having brought this um, uh, World Summit on Ethics and Leadership in Sport here in the home of FIFA, in the home of football, in your home. And as Christoph said before, we all meet here today connected with our love for sports, with our concern for sports and the values it stands for. When we think about the phenomenon of sport, which for some nations is something like a religion, and probably for everybody a very important, not only economical, but also social and cultural phenomenon. The reason for this is the fact that sport is more than business. Sport is, of course, a reflection of society, and that's why what you find in society, you find also in sport. First of all, what are the goals of sport organizations around the world? Is it to maximize profit? Then I would say definitely not. But immediately, when we think that the most important thing is to earn as much money as we can, greed starts. And this is not only the fact in football or in any other sport, it is a, a, a problem of society. Where power is concentrated in the hands of a small group of leaders <laughs> with very little oversight from the wider sporting community or society at large, problems are likely to occur. Uh, some years ago, we still had some studies uh, available which said basically, well, I'm not going shopping to save the world, but uh, in the meantime, things have changed and the generations are certainly expecting us to uh, be more compliant and to be a leader in sustainability. However, <clears throat> the ultimate purpose of performance has a cost, an ethical cost, because beyond this ideal, <clears throat> there is a reality of sport. A reality regularly tarnished by failures, transgressions, offenses, cheating, misappropriation, violence, and injuries. And the whole reason behind that is the win-at-all-costs attitude. Too often, the ideal of sport is engulfed by its reality. Where a lot of money is involved and human greed has meant that income through marketing rights were generously channeled into pockets of people misappropriating the funds. And that's a criminal act and we've got to eradicate this. And the international sport need more female leadership which have stronger values as us men. The World Summit on Ethics and Leadership in Sports seeks to answer the question of what business and society on the whole can learn from sports and to establish how to assure good governance and ethics on and off the pitch. Again, success for me is about bringing change. It won't stop with me. I may not be able to make that change, but one thing I do know is that I've planted um, the seeds and it may not be me, that'll bring that wonderful change. It may not be the person after me, but that seed will one day grow to become a tree. I will try today to talk about success, um, which is for me, live in the moment. Um, be here, be right now, 100%, because if we are thinking now, maybe on the next day, maybe on the ne next month, maybe on the next year, we cannot fully enjoy this moment and that's what it's sports about finding this energy right now right here sport provides great values teaching us health well-being fair play teamwork and brings together the most diverse group of people so sports is the first and foremost expression of life i would say sports is the purest expression of life so in, in a game, somebody is going to win. 
But that somebody's win should be a celebration for everybody. If that is not the spirit, it's not a game, it's just war. It's just business. If the true essence of sports is brought to light, which is uh, to bring people together and uplift the spirit and unite the world towards much happier society. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2016 Ethics in Sports Award 2016 in Outstanding Teamwork goes to the FC Basel and Dr. Bernhard Häusler. If the players are the heroes in the eyes of the people in the stadium, you do not need to tell them that they are heroes. But if they lost, if they have lost the match, then maybe they need to know that we love them. Ladies and gentlemen, the outstanding individual this year goes to Willy Lemke, the UN Special Advisor on Sport for Development. Please, please give him a hand. This award is yours. To think more about how to better use the energy we have instead of only producing more and more energy. Sports transcends cultures, nations and beliefs and connects people based on a common set of values. To strengthen the movement towards preserving the beauty of sports and leveraging its full potential for society, join the conversation at wfeb.org.